fiscal year 2014 report from city manager hearing. City manager's communication number 140 dated April 23rd is received into and made part of the record. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the time and place legally advertised for public hearing to provide the public with an opportunity to comment on the fiscal year 2014 recommended budget. This public hearing is scheduled to last for no more than one hour. Speakers are limited to five minute presentations. Please come forward when I call your name and make your presentation. State your name, whether or not you live in the city, whom you are representing, and whether or not you are a paid speaker. We do have five cards tonight, so we should have any problems getting everybody heard. And we will start with Barry. Mayor and Council, I appreciate the opportunity to speak today. I am Lead Police Officer Barry Peterson. I am speaking on behalf of the Tucson Police Officers Association, and I do not live in the city of Tucson. I have been a police officer for the city of Tucson since October of 2004, which is just under nine years. I am a husband, a father of two boys, I am a soccer and a t-ball coach, and I am a grievance representative with the Tucson Police Officers Association. Throughout my nine-year career with the Tucson Police Department, I have developed numerous skills through various trainings and street experience that I have received. I hold an Arizona Post Certificate, which allows me to practice or enforce law anywhere in this great state. I am an Arizona Post General Instructor, which allows me to teach officers and recruits. I am a field training officer, which allows me to train officers in the field. I am certified to use less lethal tools, such as a taser and a pepper ball. System. I am trained to deploy the pursuit, or pursuit intervention technique and stinger road spike systems to end dangerous and deadly pursuits. I am trained in a horizontal gaze nystagmus, advanced field sobriety tests, and intoxilizer 8000s, which are all tools to ensure DUI invest, uh, investigations and convictions. I attended a 40 hour patrol rifle school in 2008 and numerous tactical training since. I've been deployed in three separate violent crime task force. I was awarded a medal for my work in the Violent Crime Initiative in 2008 and in 2009. I have worked several oper Operation Stone Garden deployments. I have attended patrol narcotic interdiction classes. I was a member of the Midtown Direct Patrol Unit, which specialized in street crime, tracking known offenders, quality of life issues, fugitive apprehensions, and narcotic cases. This unit has been disbanded due to staffing issues. I have testified in Superior Court on multiple homicide, armed robbery, DUI, burglary, auto theft, and narcotic sales cases. I maintain a working relationship with the Pima County Attorney's Office and their prosecutors. The majority of this training that I've just listed to you has come since my last mayor race in 2007. In 2009, I was a member of the Field Response Unit when I responded to a report of an armed robbery at Silver Bell and St. Mary's at the Viva Burrito. The suspects fled the robbery in a vehicle that I subsequently located in the neighborhood. A pursuit was initiated, and at one point during the car chase, a male passenger leaned out of the vehicle and fired a shotgun strike at my patrol car. The shooter ran from the vehicle after it crashed into a house. He was captured a short time later with the assistance of our air support and canine unit. He is now serving a lengthy prison sentence. In 2010, I responded to a report of shots heard in North Winstall, near Grand Alberta. Upon arrival, myself and the only two available officers in my division located a deceased male suffering from gunshot trauma lying in the middle of the street. After waiting for deputies from the Pima County Sheriff's Department and other Tucson police officers to arrive, we located a second male who had been shot hiding behind a car. Both of these incidents and numerous incidents like them have occurred since my last merit increase. Members of my 2004 Academy class are only one pay step higher than recruits currently in the Academy. Three members of my class have left for other agencies. I have endured two years of furloughs without complaint. My training and experience is valued in the law enforcement community. I understand the city can hire a new cop to replace me. However, it takes years and thousands of dollars to put together this kind of training and experience. At my current pace, I will never make the top of my pay scale. Myself and officers in my position are constantly faced with the decision of whether to stay with the Tucson Police Department 
or to seek employment elsewhere. We don't want to leave. We love Tucson. We want to stay here. This mayor and council needs to show us progress by way of mer or merely giving us the merit increase we deserve. We need to know where we stand with the council and the city. Thank you. Actually, value very little the officers of the Tucson Police Department. 